happy Wednesday. Hmm. So I wanted to talk about briefly like how we view things because I had something happen where I actually had been hello I had been manifesting uh, interviews more interviews so I really enjoyed my last one and I realized it's been a while because I used to interview people frequently for Mellow Vibes uh, for the travel section and um, but yeah, so it was kind of one of the first times I had been interviewed, and I really enjoyed it, so I was trying to manifest more interviews, and I got an unexpected invite, probably a few days after I was thinking I want to do more interviews, and it was from my alma mater, and initially I was just like, uh, no, and why? <laughs> so I guess like some students, some current students are um, interviewing alumni, for whatever reason and they want to do this one student wants to do a, an hour-long interview with me and I'm just like uh, and it's about like how this how this I guess my experience influenced um, my life and yeah so um, in terms of how I viewed that I tend to when I think about school automatically um, view it one way and in mostly a pessimistic way and I really had to think about like how that school has influenced me in a positive way because I know how it actually influenced me in kind of a negative way so um, and then I realized I started writing a list because I'm just like what did I get from that school <laughs> yeah yeah JJ um yeah. <laughs> so that's actually Friday. They're gonna uh, the student's gonna interview me on Friday. Um, yeah, I really wrote a list because I just was just like I don't even know. Like I don't know why I would be um, what would be uh, asked of me in an hour <laughs> long interview. I have no idea what the questions are gonna be. I assume um, they're gonna ask me stuff about uh, maybe how it shaped me professionally, but really that's not made an impact to be perfectly honest but personally and uh artistically I, I, you know i came out with with a list <laughs> so uh, but i'm just like just putting that out there to say um you know sometimes the way we frame things can be um like our go-to of a of a, a certain situation or thing or person can be you know a certain way and is that actually factual because like my go-to was a negative sp space um where i did actually have positive moments um and positive experiences um that i can talk about and why was i only thinking about the negative and honestly i i went back to my school last year for the first time uh, in 11 years and I went for alumni weekend and it was kind of like I really had to talk to my cousin about it because we have a similar experience experience in our schools um, not that she didn't go to the same school as me I did go to the same school as one of my cousins but not this particular cousin so but we, our schools were about an hour or less apart and we similar environment and we both had <laughs> kinds of issues um, with how we felt about our school and so it was kind of like, if you go, I'll go kind of thing. And it was like when I got onto campus, this whole, um, just it just took me back into this space of feeling uncomfortable. And it wasn't until near the end of that weekend that I had to like snap myself out of it. And, um, and I'd be like, okay, Tiffany, you're a different person now. You've you've evolved into a different person now and um to not just automatically go to that space and to just like walk in the woman that i am now and the confidence that i am now and not um and it wasn't that i was always and i uncomfortable and i remind myself like i wasn't always uncomfortable here and i did live four years of my life here so um it wasn't all you know this automatic thing that i went to it wasn't all negative so um <laughs> i had that experience last year 
And so I'm trying to like reframe my college experience because there were a lot of positive things, but I think it was me um, always remembering that I really just didn't want to be there. <laughs> I didn't want to go and I didn't want to go in the first place. I didn't want to be there professionally. Um, I haven't made as much as my tuition was <laughs> really. So, um, so in that regard, like that is always like the first thing that annoys me, but, um, but it did help me creative, uh, creatively and personally with certain things. And that is, you know, how I choose to look at it now. And, um, so I'm just throwing that out there. So, oh, uh, will it be live recorded? Um, <laughs> I assume it's going to be recorded because I guess it's going up on their website. Um, I can't remember, like I even got a, a letter from the president of the college uh, saying, oh, I hope you'll agree to the interview, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what the initiative is where they're interviewing. Um, I feel like they said about 20 alumni and they just started doing this last year. And <laughs> I'm literally wondering why they reached out to me. I, I think they reached out to me several times for different things, but I just never respond. <laughs> And maybe because I actually like went to uh, alumni weekend last year. I don't know. Um, I've gone to a couple alumni events in past years uh, when I was in Philly. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to like shed um, the, the thing I have with my college because, you know, I've realized I was just saying to my, my cousin, I was like, you know, it didn't help me with exploring different things, um, but it helped me explore the things I, I was already interested in and get a more uh, a, a, meatier, a meatier background on the things that I actually already liked. So I didn't really necessarily say I, would, I learned new things that I hadn't thought of before, but it expanded my knowledge and that um, the degree that I have uh, equips me <laughs> very well to have the conversations that we're having now that I have personally now about different race relations and how things are portrayed and stuff like my degrees in American studies my my um, background is knowing how uh, knowing the social movements of this country and how people uh, have been viewed and uh, purposely portrayed through media and um, depending on race, class, gender, everything. So um, that was already a passion of mine, just like fighting <laughs> for people. Me being so like quiet and observant, my trigger is bullying and because I've been bullied. Um, <laughs> so like that is when I will speak up, like I don't, I don't go for that at all. And so um, <laughs> I remember my aunt always being worried that she's gonna have to bail me out of jail. Like, oh, you're gonna be an activist, I'm gonna have to bail you out of jail. But, <laughs> So I'm like, anyway, my degree did equip me for that. Like, that's a positive. And so any, that my point is, like I said, it's just like, how do you view things? And can you take another look at it and see another side instead of always viewing something a certain way? Um, you were proud to have us there when we visited your senior year. I think this would be good for you, if nothing else, to hold on to the good things, even if they were minimum. Uh, yeah, you know, I, yeah. We, uh, yeah, you and Aisha came at the same time to visit me senior year. And that was fun. That was fun. Like I said, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like I did have some good times and that was a really fun weekend actually when we went shopping and all that stuff. Um, and the band that I still listen to to this day, <laughs> I, uh, I think I bought their album. Yeah. This band that played at my school. Um, that was a fun weekend. That was a fun weekend. But yeah, there were good times and uh, probably more good experiences than bad, but um, I think it's just <laughs> what looms over is the fact that I just didn't want to be there and then also the kinds of env the kind of environment that it was. But um, but I regardless, I met good people. I had a good time for the most part. Um, yeah. And that's what I need to remember. And that should be the thing that, and I kind of, you know, the mind is so interesting that when I uh, kind of restructure my mind and reframe this whole thing, that needs to be the, the first thing that I, I, I pick and not the negative response. So, you know, it's always a process. The mind is very interesting. 
more than me yes that was the band more than me like i i still listen to them i love i, I mean i don't know what happened to them they're a band from buffalo new york um yeah that was fun but like i said yeah artistically i had a great time in college <laughs> so uh, and that's that's all i need to look at i think i'm always because it's college and it's higher education higher education um I think I automatically think about professionally how it may have impacted me and then I think that's where <laughs> I'm just like there's this disconnect but I am an artist I am a creative and creatively it was um it was good and that's all I need to look at it as because that's what I continue to do is art and um really I'm <laughs> releasing an EP soon and I am beatboxing in a few things, and I learned how to beatbox because I was in my college acapella group, <laughs> so that was a great thing. Um, I was, yeah, since Jandy's here, like, I learned how to better harmonize <laughs> because I was in that group, because you know very well, like, I could really only harmonize with myself, and I would be, like, recording stuff in my room and trying to, like, lay how things would sound when I would write songs but oh my gosh every time we <laughs> do duets together I could not get it and you always carried that harmony but four years an all-female acapella group equipped me and I harmonize everything now <laughs> so <laughs> um so like I said yeah like I artistically it was it was great and that's all I need to think about that's all I need to think about. So I had that interview on Friday. Again, think about maybe certain, if it's a certain person, a certain thing, certain situation that maybe um, you automatically have a certain, you know, response to like what lens are you using when you're viewing that and just, you know, look at, look at it again, see what else is there. Yeah. So that's all I want to say. I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> And I'll see you guys later. Peace and mellow vibes.